Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to create a data frame row by row using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on an empty data frame as the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data1. And if we print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code, you can see that our data frame that we have created in these lines of code is empty. Now, if we want to add a first row to this data frame, then we can use square brackets, as you can see in line 8 of the code. And within the square brackets, we need to specify the index position at which we want to add our first row. So since this is the first row of our data frame, we are specifying the index position number one. And then we are assigning values to this first index position based on the list function. And within the list function, we are specifying the values that should be assigned to this first row. Note at this point that it is important that the length of this list is equal to the number of columns of our data frame. So in this example, we have created a data frame with three columns, x1, x2, and x3. And for that reason, our list also has a length of three. Now, if we run line eight of the code, our data frame is updated. As you can see by printing the data frame again to the RStudio console, and after running line 9 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have updated the data frame so that the values 5, x and 7 have been assigned as first row of our data frame. Now let's assume that we want to add another row to our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 11. And in this line of code, I'm assigning a new row to the second index position and I'm using the list function again to assign these values. And this time I'm assigning the values three, the character string AAA and the value two. So if you run line 11 of the code, the data is updated again. And if you run line 12 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame has been updated again so that the values three AAA and two have been added at the second index position of our data frame. So in this first example, I have explained how to create a data frame row by row. However, as you can see, it might get very complicated and complex if you want to add many rows to a new data frame by using this method that I have used in the first example of this tutorial. And for that reason, I want to show you another example in which I'm using a for loop to create our data frame row by row. And this will help us to automatize our code and make our code more efficient. So in order to do that, we first need to create another data frame, which is empty at the beginning. And we are doing that by running lines 14 to 17 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see that another data frame has been created at the top right of RStudio, which is called data2. And this data frame also has zero rows at the beginning when we are starting to build up our data frame. And then we are using this data frame within a for loop. So in this for loop, I'm specifying that I want to add five rows. So for that reason, I'm running our for loop from one to five. And then within this for loop, I'm specifying in each iteration of the loop, a new list that I want to add to our data frame. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to add the index position I as first value in the first column, the letter at the i-th index position at the second column and the index position i to the power of three at the third position. And then I'm adding this list of the iteration to the index position i of our data frame. So if you run lines 19 to 24 of the code, you can see that our data frame is updated and you can see that by running line 26, so after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a new data frame with five rows and the row values have been created within the for loop. So in this tutorial, I have explained in two examples how to create a data frame row by row using the R programming language. 
However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the programming code that I have used in this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.